Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Now in this video, we're going to take a look at the best announcements that are coming for Unreal Engine 5.4 and UEFN that got announced today on the State of Unreal livestream at GDC 2024. Now the very first thing is going to be the dynamic nanite tessellation. We already have nanite displacement, but the ways this works, this can be changed in real time, which can produce awesome results. Uh, you're going to see that it can actually allow you to fill your assets with snow, which we already can. But since you can use the texture tessellation, it's going to do it to a more realistic aspect. This is memory optimized from what I heard on the conference, and it's going to allow us to have more performance and better quality in our games and our films. Another thing that got announced is the machine learning when it comes to clothing. You can see how realistic the clothings are in this Captain America model. They are amazing. So we will be able to better integrate things from like Houdini or any cloth simulation and use the machine learning to generate this kind of clothing that looks photoreal. This is as photoreal as it gets. Now, this part wasn't so much an announcement as something that I thought it was really cool that they showcase. This looks to be a med custom MetaHuman, so I don't think this is something you'll be able to do in MetaHuman Creator. Maybe I'm wrong, but we'll see. There's supposed to be new stuff in the MetaHuman Creator 5.4. The thing about this is you can see how uh, high resolution detail he has on his face and how realistic everything looks. And we're actually going to talk about that in one of my comment videos on how to get a more realistic look with your MetaHumans. Another cool thing that they announced was this fantastic like spaceship environment that they created to do this uh, Fortnite demo. It looks amazing. The lighting is beautiful. But this is the part that I wanted to get to and what I think it's the most important thing. Now we can use MetaHumans in UEFN. This is something that when I saw UEFN, I thought I was missing like the metahumans are such a crucial thing to have in UEFN and can bring a whole different level of things that we can make when not only when it comes to gameplay, but with cinematics for your gameplay, for your NPCs. Uh, so far, you can only use the metahumans for NPCs. Another fantastic thing is that these metahumans are actually look at the memory size between the metahumans and what you're going to get with them in the UEFN. I don't know what kind of sorcery or magic they're working in the background, but that seems amazing. Now, what they're showcasing here is actually how seamlessly Marvelous Designer is going to work with MetaHumans, and they're actually going to give us um, Marvelous Designer for free for a year so we can use it to create our characters' clothing in UEFN. One thing that wasn't very clear for me in this case was whether we will be needing rigging for these clothing or they'll are we going to be able to just simulate them with chaos, kind of like what we saw before? And, and that is it. No more worrying about how am I going to rig this close? And we'll definitely dive into this once it comes out. But look at how good this cloth movement. All right, that was it. Just a quick video of what I think are the best things that got announced, not only for Unreal Engine 5.4. There's, of course, more stuff that got announced that you can see on the roadmap but also the good things that are coming for UEFN. Thank you so much for watching. All my socials down in the description below. Remember to leave a like and leave a comment for the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you in the next one.